Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Frances and I will be taking you through a 30 minute hit workout today with some wonderful fun uh, summer tunes. So if this is your first time doing hit with me, then we start with a two minute warm up, then get into the main body of work, which is 26 minutes long. It's a mix of cardio and strength. Each move is 30 seconds long. So we go from cardio to strength, cardio to strength, bounce back and forth for each 30 seconds. So with the cardio, your heart rate's gonna go up. When we get to the strength work, we want to build that in a little bit of active recovery where we can slow it down a notch, catch your breath, and build that muscle mass. All right, so you're in for a challenging workout today, but a fun one as well. After that, we cool it down for two minutes, get a little bit of a stretching, but of course, you'll need lots of stretching after this, all right? So let me reset the music, and let's get into it. Have some water close by, have your mat, as you might decide to use that for some of the floor work, and all you're gonna need today is one weight. You don't need more than one, so just grab one weight. I'm going for five pounds. If you like to go lighter or heavier, it's your choice, or have a selection of weights around. Have lots of room to move, being that we're gonna be going from side to side today and forward and back, all right? Well, let's get this workout started. for you. Maybe just roll into bed. Maybe begin with a march. I'm going to be giving lots of low impact options today for those of you that are not looking to jump. All right? So you're going to take the options that challenge you, of course, the ones that really fit best for your body today. And keep in mind, you're probably doing this video at home, so if you ever need to stop, and come back to it, you can do that. Take whatever breaks you need to. Next row move is our lateral side shuffle. So feet a little wider here, going side to side. Using whatever space you have today. So if you've got a lot of space, you can travel further. Not so much, keep it smaller, that's fine. We've 
about hover jacks. You're coming down to the floor. You interlace the fingers. Elbow shoulder lift. Chest forward, belly in. Mount to the toes. Eating out with your feet. Long spine here. Now that we're lifting your bum up to the air. If the balance is too much, take it into an alternating side tap instead. So we can work in this first round, but we're also getting to know the moves. Learning our options. Seeing how our body feels today. Now that's this straight. We're coming all the way down, swimming on our belly. Extend the arms forward, arms and legs up and straight. Into our flutter swim. From the hips and shoulders, we move. Working all the muscles of the back side of our body. Now keep breathing here. I know this no longer feels like the warm up. Alright, back into cardio. We're coming up for this one. Play and pop up. So when you're ready, come on up. Feet super wide, toes out 45 degrees. Interlace fingers down and up. Yeah, lots of knee bend here. Pushing out both feet. If you don't like the plyo movement, then here, check it out. Calf raise. Lower impact, maybe better for your knees. You can still get down nice and low. Use that lower body. You can still add a lot of speed with the lower impact option as well. Now it's a strength single lunge around the world. You're gonna grab one, your one weight, your right foot is forward, left foot back, hips square. You're gonna take this weight around. Big circle, arms straight. When you're lunging down, the weight goes underneath, more hamstring. Ooh, make sure you got that balance. You got a chandelier above you, so you gotta be careful for that. <laughs> yeah. If you can't get under the hamstring, you're going above the quad instead. Now step it into our cardio. Lose the weights, we've got side burpees. So here, big jump up if you can. Hands down, jump to the side, back in. Now switch, other side. Yes, explosive movement. If the jump is too much, hands down, step to the side. Step back in. You can take that option today if it's needed. Especially if you're still working up to that intermediate class or more beginner. Into strength, we've got bear with alternating shoulder taps. So bear, find your tabletop, curl the toes, lift your knees up off your mat just about an inch. You can stay with us if needed. For more, you're adding an alternating shoulder tap. Hand touches opposite shoulder, keeping the body nice and steady, now that we're rocking side to side. If you are, you probably want to keep your hands down. That's still too much, lower to the knees. All right, into cardio. We come up for lateral scissors. So here, side to side with your scissors. Then if you don't have that space, just hold it center with the scissors. Feel that heart rate up now. We'll see if I end up losing my hat. Surprise, it's still on. <laughs> All right, strength. Single leg deadlift with tries to keep that hammer curl. So waiting to the right hand, we're balancing on the right foot, left foot up. So here, hammer curl for the bicep, tip forward, elbow up, tricep extension. Straighten arm, come back up to standing, and repeat, hammer curl, hinge forward, elbow up and in, tricep extension. Straight arm back to standing. Other hand can always be placed at your hip. Now let's go to our cardio. Lift us that weight out of the clear. We go into diagonal jacks. If you don't like the jumping, check it out. This is your option. Still notice the same speed without the jump. You decide. All right, cardio. Sorry, straight training. We need donkey kicks. So grab your one weight. Come on down. You know we start with the weight behind that right knee. Lock it in from table. Feet flex. So on the right side, keeping arms and spine straight. We're gonna hinge up and hinge down. Notice how the knee stays bent to keep that weight locked in. Long neck. We're now working with the right glute and the hamstring. Now you know all the moves. Let's go through that again. Come on up with your weight. Squat with big 
great pass. Find that squat. So no surprises. You know every single move now. We're repeating it again and again and again. Three more times each move. So now we can focus a little bit more into our bodies, into our form now that we know it and we know our options. Next, lose the weight. Come on up into zigzag jumps. Now you need to do a lower impact option for this one, but if you need it, check it out. Stepping, zigzag, step side to side. Take it if you need it. We don't quit, keep on working through. All right, into plyo pushes. Come on down, knees or toes, your choice. We're working through the chest, and the shoulders here. We're feeling working the abs and back as it's supporting this plyo movement. Chest lands right between the hands. Make sure your hands are landing wide. Elbows bending out 45 degrees. So if you feel your hands on your back, land them wider than your back. Just offside the back. All right, let's go to our cardio. Hover jacks, down on those forms. Let's do it. In and out with the feet, with the hop, or that alternating side back. Your workout, so you choose your option. Breathe and keep looking right at your knuckles here. All right, take it down. Slide those arms forward, you go for a swim. Belly in. Glutes engage. Lift up and swim. Breathe it here. Catch your breath. Feel that strength in your body you are building today. And acknowledge that strength you already have. Alright, let's come on up for our cardio. All the way up for those cleaning pop-ups. Yeah. Feel free to get down lower into that plie. Feel free to lift all the way up off the floor or again, that calf raise. But don't take it easy because I am. Challenge yourself, pushing your limits. Next, strength. So we're gonna need that weight, single lunge, around the world. This time your left foot needs to be full. We gotta do the other side. Set it up, hip square, right above our head. Now let's bring it around. All the way under, all the way above our head. Now we're not bending our back and leaning forward here. Straight down and straight up. Both knees are bending, so don't keep the back leg straight. Bend the knee towards the floor. Let's step it in for our cardio. Lose the weight, we go into the side burpees. At that jump, if you like, in the center as well. Pull those abs in. Feel that strength of your obliques. Again, that option, hands down, step to the side, step it in. There's options for a reason, so take them to continue through this workout. Strength. Let's go into bare with alternating shoulder taps. This time facing forward for those of you that need to see the front view. Knees up. For more, alternating shoulder tap. Get a foot out there yet. You're holding right here. Knees up or knees down if you need to today. How are you feeling? Make sure you're able to breathe. Next is cardio. Let's come on up. Lateral scissors. Now I haven't shown an option yet except for holding center, but if you need it, lower impact option. Marching side to side. But you can get up your knees up on that march and get your arms pumping. Now we stay a lateral scissors. Single leg deadlift with the hammer curl, tricep kickback. So this time, we 
Bring the knee to the left hand. We're balancing on the left foot. Give me the side view. Foot up. Hammer curl. Tip forward from the hips. Elbow up and in. Extend. Arms straight. Hinge back up and repeat. Focus needed here as we're incorporating work for balance. Next time you come up, step it down, lose the weight. Let's go to our cardio. The abdominal jacks. Woo, how are we feeling? Energy's up. We're wide awake. And guess what? You're almost at your halfway point. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like it's going to be forever and then we're done before we know it. Next is weighted donkey kicks. Grab your one weight. Let's come on down to that mat. Weight this time behind your left knee. Tuck it in nice and tight. Table top. Straight arms and spine. Begin when you're ready. Let's work that left glute and hamstring. Yeah, make sure you're switching me up. Doing the other side now. Yeah, see if you can hinge all the way up. Really work into the glute. All right. We're going through those ones again. Coming up with the weight. Squat figure eight pass. Let's do it. All right, halfway point is here. So third round out of four. You can do this. You've done it already two rounds. Lots of knee bend here, waiting to the heels. Working quads and glutes. Let's come on up for a cardio. Lose the weight into those zigzag jumps. How are you like the summertime music? Look, summertime music, I'm just trying to survive this. <laughs> Step it in, step it out, 
feet up. That's still too much. Side to side here. All right, strength training. We're going to the bear with alternating shoulder taps. So come on down, set it up. Lift those knees. If you can, adding that shoulder tap. So it's not a plank. We don't want to have our legs straight. Bring the knees right underneath the hips. You might actually even find that more challenging to support that. If you need to, knees can be down. Let's try not to give up on this workout though. Let's try to make it to the end. All right, into our cardio. Let's come up into a lateral scissors. I feel that challenge too. You are not alone on this one. But I'm feeling what I came for. A challenging 30 minute workout that's gonna get me stronger and it's gonna make me sweat. All right, let's take it to a single leg deadlift. Have our girl, tricep kickback, weight into the right hand when you're set. And when you have that balance. We don't wanna begin a move if we're all shaky and don't have the floor. So always set up the form first.
jump or without. You always lift the heels, come up to the balls of the feet if you're not jumping as well. Feel a little bit more height that way. And you can still again at that speed. And if that's easy, if that's feeling like a cool down for you, add that jump. Let's go to our strength training, single lunge around the world, one weight, left foot forward. Set it up. Toes of both feet face forward. Lay it up. Let's go around. Slow it down here again. Catch your breath. We know we need it for cardio. Yeah, weight above the head. Lower arms, step it in, lose weight. Cardio, side burpees. If you hate these, don't worry. This is your last set. You're not going to see these again. Your options you need again, step touch. If the jumping and coming down makes you feel dizzy. Jumping up in the air isn't for everybody. Let's go to bear. Alternating shoulder taps. Come on down. Forward or sideways. Knees up or knees down. But spine stays still. That doesn't move. Feel your core getting stronger through the back shoulders, abdominals. Woo, knees down. Let's go into our cardio. Let's come on up. Lateral scissors. Get those arms pumping as well if you like. Woohoo! I hope you're feeling good. Less than two minutes. All right, single leg deadlift, hand or curl, tricep kickback. Grab that weight. Left hand. Other hand can be a hip. Curl up, pull down, hip forward, woo, woo -hoo. <laughs> elbow up in, extend. Yeah, break down the move, do the curl, then hip forward, then do the tricep kick back. Then come up, repeat. Then after you finish that one, lose the weight. Let's go into those diagonal jacks. Last cardio move here. Stretch, grab the top of our foot, knee faces towards the floor, arm up for balance, 
stand tall. All right, it's gonna take some time to come back down. You're gonna need lots of water to hydrate yourself. So make sure to do that right after your class. Right after a workout today. All right, release that down. Crisscross the arms. Woo, paradise. Let's bring that right arm across. Shoulder stretch. Let's crisscross one more time. And left arm across, shoulder stretch. And we did it. Release the arms, roll the shoulders up, down your back. One more time. Awesome job. Thank you for joining me here today. Again, my name is Francis. You just completed your 30 minute intermediate hip workout. I'm out of here. I'll see you back here next time. Take care.